Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. All right, so I didn't plan this, but I know some of you guys enjoy these um, these personal videos. Let me put my taqiyya on to appear more respectful to you guys and not be like, not be that uh, not presentable. So, so I was going over, um, I'm actually editing a, editing a video. But I was just checking something on the on the platform, and I said, and I said, um, I need to show this to the people to see how one of the lessons in Anders Institute when you go in over Kashmir Mufradat works. All right, so they are a little different from one to ten to ten to to twenty and so on. However, I will still show you. So, so first of all, this the. Um, this, by the way, I remember some people saying, oh, so that is a school community? No, it's not a school community. We took, we developed this from scratch. It's been developed since the beginning of 2023. This is why it's been so hard for me for the past almost two years to, to, to promote Anders Institute because there's so much work uh, going on, so many features, new features that we need to check and these and that, a lot of... Uh, uh, talking with uh, developers. This is the first time that I'm doing this in my life. I don't know nothing about coding. And so, um, and so, yeah. So anyways, let me just show you a few things, okay? And you will see why students are the successful Anders Institute. So this right here, I will talk about this later, okay? Let me talk about the lesson now. So this right here, these lessons, all right, first of all, let me actually, let me actually, um, anyways, this right here is the lessons, okay, in uh, Kashwal Mufradat. Now, here on lesson 22, for example, as you can see, you come here to the lesson, you have, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam wa rasulillah, you have the lesson, I explain the lesson, every word that you see here in red is a new word, and every Expression that you see in blue is a new expression. Ma'am, makanan amaliyan, a practical place. Yajma'una bi kulli hubbin wa salam is an expression. Then here you get the PDF. All right, you download the PDF. You download the PDF of the whole lesson. So here you have the lesson. Here you have the vocabulary broken down so you can so you can memorize it. You have the, the verbs, okay, and here you have uh, new expressions of this uh, of this uh, lesson. Aham aham the most important thing. Um, fi'lan, uh, indeed, like that. Then we have a part that's called vocabulary in context, which is basically giving you all of that new vocabulary that you learned, but in different little sentences, so you can see it used. Okay. And then we have an essential lesson. In this case, is inna wa akhawatuha. So inna wa akhawatuha, we explain what it is. In Arabic grammar, inna wa akhawatuha refers to a group of particles known as the particles of emphasis or certainty and emphasis particles. These particles are used to add emphasis to a noun sentence. All right, and then we explain this to you. And then we have vanna wa akhawatuha as well. And the idea with this is that when you're going through the lessons on on um, on Kashf al-Mufradat, we're going to give you these chapters. For example, Inna wa akhawatuha, Dhanna wa akhawatuha. These are chapters that you're going to learn in Al-Ajurumiya. So the idea is to give you a, a little bit of it. Now I'm a little pinch of, of the actual lesson. So... So later on, when we get to module three and we get to al Jurumiya, you already went over. You already know what it does. You already know what it is, and then you just learn al Arab of it. Now how to do al Arab with it, etc., etc. Uh, and then we have uh, here. Here I'm going to get to this. All right. So on this lesson, I'm going to go on. Now you're going to see how how you get feedback from teachers because. I didn't want this to just be a, a basically you with the, with the lessons and that's it. So here, I read over over the the vocabulary. 
Okay, I explain every vocabulary. Then we we had at one point these steps. Once you once you are once you are at a progress level, these steps. But uh, we used to have these words of lesson twenty two. Saletun, saletun. Living room. Arikatun, araiku. All right, so it's basically words of lesson twenty. An audio, and um, and a video, with the lessons that you just learned. Because some students that you like to be on the in a car or working or cleaning or whatever, and, and they listen to the new words of this lesson throughout the week to memorize the, to memorize them. Then here uh, we explain the essential lesson. Essential lesson is explained. Then the second essential lesson. Okay, second essential lesson. Let me turn on the VPN because it's going a little slow. And now here, this is the interesting part, right? So at one point, you will get to now the assessments before you go to the next lesson. So before you go to the next lesson, you will have to upload your assessment. Obviously here, I just uploaded a video, uh, a picture that does, a, does and here is supposedly, you're supposed to upload uh, a picture of your transcript. So you're supposed to transcript this audio right here. يا أم زين لقد اشترينا بيتا جديدا ونفكر في كيفية تنظيمه. أفك. Okay, so you're supposed to listen to this audio and transcribe it, and then you upload the um, you upload the assessment, and then this turns into in queue for review. Then we go next. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next assessment. And here, as you can see, it says awaiting student action. All right, so this is um, this is basically you're supposed to upload these exercises here. You're supposed to to do these exercises. So here, this is reading comprehension. So Um Yusuf and her family bought a new house. So you're supposed to go here. You're supposed to go to the text, read it in Arabic. And and based on your understanding, you're supposed to say if this is sahih or if this is غير sahih. All right, so here you're working on your reading understanding. Here, this is based on the audio. So you listen to the audio. Now you're working on your listening understanding. You listen to the audio and you find if it's correct or incorrect. Then here you're supposed to find and point at with an arrow 10 words. Of things that you have learned and then observe the image closely and write a few paragraphs describing what you see happening right the next thing as well uh this is exercises in regard in regards of the essential lessons so in now for example rajulu karimun so then you go and say in rajula kariman or in rajula karimun nam tilka sayyidatu aniqatun nam so you go and you say in tilka and like that and you do the whole exercise you write it then uh finding a space of terrace in the career uh, so now i'm the and like that and you do the, the whole exercise then here you fill up this um so basically you're supposed to memorize this you're supposed to memorize this. And then you're supposed to come here and go and the meaning. And whatever is empty, you have to fill it up. And this is from the top of your head. Obviously, too, you can you can cheat if you want, but I mean you cannot cheat your pro your progress in, in Arabic. And then with this, you are supposed to work on sentence forming. So for example, the you need to structure this sentence here with with this, with Fatima and Mudara. So, هذان محمد وأم زين. All right. So now I say, هذه فاطمة التي. So I change the ذاني for التي ينظ تنظم البيت. And then do the same with Muhammad and Fatima in the form of ماضي. And then do the same with Usra in the form of Mudara and like that. Um, 
So, so you do all of these exercises, and then you take pictures, and you upload them. All right, so I'm just going to upload uh, a random picture right now. So as you can see, I'm uploading a picture. So again, this should be a picture of your work that you take with, a pi with your phone. Take a picture of what you wrote, what you answered. Um, it could be an iPad as well, if, you, if you're doing those exercises on the, on the PDF on the iPad. And then you upload it here. All right, and then this will be, this will be here. All right, and then, um, and then the teacher is going to check it. Now, check how, how cool this is. As you can see here, it says, exciting news. Completing this section will grant you 30 points. And this is what I said in the beginning. Let me tell you what this is. So you see here, it says 2060. These are points that contribute to your ranks on, on the leaderboard. So on the leaderboard, we have, as you can see, different... Um, different different students all right by the way this this is so cool man this is uh this is called haram blur which is a chromic extension every time it finds a, a a woman on my on my laptop on my screen it blurs it out even if it's here as you can see it's just a sister with niqab but As you can see, it's just an iqabi, but still finds a... Uh, I think you guys should get it. Anyway, that's a side point. So as you can see, these are uh, the, the leaderboard. So in the leaderboard, students are always always fighting for the top of the leaderboard. Now, I mean, as you can see, uh, as you can see, the brothers and the sisters are on here. So this is... Um, this is the points. It contributes to this. Nam. And then here, uh, as you can see, you, we have badges. So the more you progress in the program, so we have, we have found this, what I wanted to show you in the beginning. We have found out that after lesson 16, students, they, they know how to speak. So they are at this stage, caveman communicator. After lesson 30, they have about 1,000 and they have about 1,600, 700 vocabulary words, so they become a refined caveman. Then after lesson 50, they are graduated a, a graduated caveman, and then once they complete the module, they are an Arabic like an Arab. And then once they complete the program, they become Arabified. So, so with these, you gain extra points as well, which puts you at the top of the, of the list on the leaderboard. And, and let me show you something. So the other day I, I wrote this post in our community. I was saying this how Kash Al Mufradat is shaping your Arabic mastery. Explore the roadmap the roadmap of your Arabic learning journey and see how each stage builds towards fluency starting with, with uh, one thousand words. Now I'm not gonna read everything. You guys can pause it and read it if you if you want. But the point where I want to get is here. Based on our experience, when students hit around 1,000 words, they can start communicating. Sure, it's not perfect. It's what we call the caveman communicator level. Level. The sentences might not be fully grammatically correct, but they can hold the conversation entirely in Arabic. That's only after 1,000 vocabulary, vocabulary words, which is by lesson 16. So you will have learned 999 vocabulary items, literally, by then. And then I said down here, I said, uh, let me know in the comments of this post what you have found. If you're on lesson 16, let me know as well in the comments if the data is accurate. Now, as you can see, there's a few uh, students that responded here. So there is one student, there is one teacher first that said, from a speaking coach, I can confirm the students that reach lesson 16 with the consistency can indeed hold a full conversation sometimes. I guess sometimes I get surprised by their hard work and the results you see. This student, he says, well, Allah, Ustad, may Allah bless the work that you do for us. I have benefited a lot from them. By the grace of Allah, I'm on lesson 14, alhamdulillah, and I can communicate way better. Uh, this student says, subhanAllah, I got near there, and I can confirm that I can hold a conversation, even though I may re-ask or need to clarify. Um, another student says, I'm on lesson 18, and I can talk 
about almost any topic I want. Also, I did listen a lot and read easy stories. So, so these by lesson by lesson sixteen. Now going back to going back to to this. Now I will show you how cool and how beneficial it is that uh, that we have this in place because we give feedback to students. So let me show you this. So as you can see now, so we have a platform for the students and we have a platform for the administration and the teachers and so on. So as you can see here, now I just uploaded my, I just uploaded my, um, my assessments, right? As you guys seen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to view these assessments and I'm going to, so technically this would be a student and I will be an instructor. So I'm correcting the student, which in this case is, is just me, right? So the instructor, he gets, he gets what he is supposed to do now. So that way, yeah, and it's not a, it's not a blind correction of what the student did. Like the instructor already knows what he is supposed to do. Um, here we have tutor, tutor internal remarks. So I can say to, to a, to a teacher, for example, I rejected this uh, assessment because the student keeps making mistakes on, I don't know, the, the Alif and Lam, for example, right? And then I go ahead and I, I reserve, so a, st a teacher needs to come here and, and press on reserve for evaluation. Okay, so now there's been a teacher that <laughs> that reserved this for himself. So, oh no, actually, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that was a that was a mistake from the system. So, like I told you guys, we we still developing this. So sometimes there is like messages that shouldn't be there and so on. Now the point is, um, so this is what a teacher sees, right? So every time a student sends us a an assessment, the teacher comes here. And I see Um Yusuf, Ya Um Zain, Laqad Ishtarayna Baytan. So this is the transcript that the student is supposed to do. Now here, as I told you, this is supposed to be a picture of the, the student's transcript. Now, so the student's, the student transcript would be here. So he will transcribe it, take a picture, and upload it, instead of a random picture that I just uploaded. And then the teacher, he can come here, and um, he can record... He can record a video, he can record a video and his screen, and he can record or he can upload a video that he has, you know, that he has, uh, that he has recorded on his own with OBS or whatever. Now, let me show you this because I need to, let me find, let me see if I can find a video. All right, so I'm, I'm just going to upload a, a random video because right now I'm obviously recording my screen so I cannot record my screen at two times, but basically... Um, the video will be will be here, right? And um, and again, here I can say uh, I rejected this student um, because because something wrong because something wrong he wrote, for example, right? Internal remarks updated. All right. All right, so now here I can say I can mark it as rejected. I can reject it if I want, uh, because the student needs to recheck the assessment or he did something wrong or I told him on the video, for example, not don't do this like this, do this like that. Now to show me that you understood, go ahead and redo it again. All right, or I can mark it as pass it. So I wanted to show you how it looks to reject it, but I mean just imagine it like just. You will get a notification. Actually, let me show you. How. So, so if I mark it as rejected, now this assessment is rejected. Okay, revision needed. All right, and then if I go back to to my student account, if I go back to what is it? If I go back to my student account and I refresh. So you will see in the not notifications, 
of the student, I have new, new feedback, right, from a teacher. So in this case, it's, it's me correcting myself. So my picture is there. But it would be the, the, the correction of the teacher. And now this, this becomes revision needed. And here, the student, he can watch the video correction of the teacher. Obviously, if he's, correct, if he's recording his, uh, his screen, he would see the correction of, of what he got wrong, right? And, and you know, he, he can watch the video here of what's wrong on his, uh, on his assessment. And then he can go ahead, then he can go ahead and upload a file again of his assessment. Now, like redo his assessment. Okay, so let me show you. All right, this is uploading right now. All right, so the student has re-uploaded the assessment. Now, you might look at this and say, oh, this is annoying, man, that I, that I, can, that I cannot go to the next lesson and so on. But the reason why I implemented this system is because there were many students in, in the second version of the, of the platform uh, that, was on, that was on Kajabi. And this is one of the reasons why I decided to go full in and invest into uh, a team of developers and, and develop something from scratch. It's just for that increase of percentage of success for the students. Because before, the students, they would go lesson after lesson after lesson after lesson. And, they, and there would be a student we would see on the administration. We would see a student who has reached lesson 70, for example. And I would jump on a call with them. And I would say, oh, mashallah, ta'alamt al-Arabi. Oh, no, I can't speak yet. But, but, I have, um, but I have reached lesson 70. He's like, how you reached lesson 70? Okay, tell me about inna wa khawatuha. Oh, I can't remember inna wa khawatuha. Okay, tell me about this verb. Or tell me about this vocabulary. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know this vocabulary. And it's like, how you reach lesson 70? Then, because the students, like if you're a student, you only know so much if you're doing, if you're doing it well or not. Right? So by, in this way, we are, I'm actually not letting a student go to the next lesson until, until we tell him that he has, that he has, um, you know, that he's ready to go to the next lesson, basically. All right, so now I'm just going to pass the, I'm just going to mark as passed. Okay, so successfully completed. All right, so this student has passed now. I'm going to do the same for, for the other assessments. Now I'm here as well. You can see, you can see the instructor, you can see the instructor, uh, instructions for teachers. So now here, the, the student, he would have uploaded a picture of, of this assessment, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the teacher, he has the resource here. He has the lesson here, so he can go ahead and open it. All right, and come to, he will see here, uh, audio assessment lesson 22. So he will come here and say, okay, audio assessment lesson 22. So he will come here and then say, okay, this is the audio assessment of lesson 22. So one, two, three, four, five. And then he goes, one is Naam. Let me see what the student said. Perfect, good. Two, two is, is La, and like that. So the teacher basically, he will have, he will have access to to the to the answers, and that way it makes everything everything smoother. All right, so mark as passed. And let me mark all of these as passed. So here we have a student, for example, who's on lesson twenty-three, and as you can see, he sent his assessment. Right, this is a real okay. example. Uh, uh, video نعم هذه هذا الامتحان هذا الكويز مفيد مفيد جدا. All right, so now going back to to my student account, let me refresh everything. Hopefully, I got my thirty points already.
All right, so I got my 30 points, as you can see here, up here. All right, and then the student, he has access to the answers. The, the correct answers and, and wrong answers. Right, so he can check why did he do wrong, why did he, and like that. And then he goes to the next lesson, lesson 23. All right, and here we are on module two. So this is lesson 23, and, uh, and basically the same thing, right? And, and this is, this is just, um, like, when I was learning Arabic, I wish I, I had this, man. Because it's, it's online. You see, a lot of people, they don't like online education because it requires a lot of self-discipline, and I can understand that. And sometimes you don't have a, you don't, like, there is not enough uh, human interaction, right? So we wanted to fix that by having this, by having teachers correct your assessments. And actually, let me give you a real a student assessment correction right now. So here, for example, <clears throat> we have a student. Okay, he uploaded, he uploaded his, uh, he uploaded his uh, assessment here in the form of a PDF. All right, he wrote with his iPad. And then one of the teachers here. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum. Mamadou, good afternoon, mashallah. Good work, Mamadou. Which, by the way, this, this student, I mean, this, uh, this teacher, he years ago joined Anders Institute to learn Arabic. Then, then he went to Saudi Arabia and, uh, and he entered a uh, university over there and so on. And so he learned Arabic, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then we were looking for a teacher and he applied. So it's uh, inspiring to see somebody who didn't know Arabic, learned Arabic, and now he is correcting assessments for students at Andrews Institute. So anyways, he's... Uh, but, um, <coughs> there were a few errors uh, throughout, so I'll talk through them, inshallah. This is a real example of... Uh, this question there. True or false, the norm and like question. Of what the teachers do. So basically, they will go one by one, your answers, check your answers, you know, give you feedback, etc. So as you can see, this video is 30 minutes. So it's 30 minutes of, of personalized feedback that you get in on your answers. So any mistake that you make in, you're going to be, is going to be pointed at and whatnot. All right, what else I wanted to show you? Now... For the, for the human interaction, as I was telling you guys. So for the human interaction, have you seen, uh, have you seen uh, what do they call it, preply? Preply? So this basically, this was my idea. My idea was, was to do this. So now, you're doing these lessons where you're learning vocabulary, you're learning new expressions, you are being tested, you are being given exercises. And then throughout the week, you come and book speaking sessions. So as you can see, this, less, this speaking session is for people in between lesson one and 10, these four in between uh, lesson 10 and 30. And you come and check and check uh, from our teachers, you know, who, who you want to, to, uh, to work with. Uh, so for example, Stad Akram, if I come here and I, and I want to book a session, these sessions as well, they are capped at three individuals only per session. So that way it gives you more time to speak. We had one problem before is that we were, we were doing speaking, sp speaking sessions in a way where, um, where there was a lot of students. So you may, you may only get five minutes to speak throughout the whole hour. So now we say, okay, we're going to do only three individuals and we're going to, and we're going to give them more time. So for example, now we have, there's one session that's available. There's two spots left. So I can come here and, and I can go ahead and and put my name, my email, what lesson I'm on. Please share anything that you would like to help during the speaking sessions. And then you, your phone number so you can get notifications before the, the call. And, and basically you have speaking sessions. So you're doing, now you're doing, your, you're doing your, your vocabulary sessions. And then you're doing your speaking sessions. And that's how you grow. And, and, and actually, let me show you something. Now, these I'm showing you guys, they, I, I didn't even show the students yet in the program. So I'm showing you guys this. Don't tell anyone. But basically, I'm working on, uh, this is our dummy, our dummy coding and dirty platform where we test things out. So, so we have something 
that that will show the student basically the things that you have to do on a weekly basis to be successful. So, so per week, you need to at least complete one lesson per week, attend three speaking sessions, uh, interact with five posts on the community, and then once you have a weekly streak, meaning you do this for, for four weeks con consecutively, then you're going to get Qirat. All right, Qirat, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but just think of a currency inside of Anders Institute. This is going to be our currency. So we have points, and we're going to have Qirat. And then here is going to be the, the amount of Qirat that the Institute has left. And I'm not going to talk much about it, but never seen before. <laughs> so, so going back here, um, so yeah, this is basically uh, the speaking sessions, as I already mentioned. The classroom, the community, and and yeah, man, that's pretty much that's pretty much all you need. Just a place where you can build your vocabulary from, and then or collect vocabulary from, and then uh, teachers that can correct your feedback, especially like person personalized feedback, and then speaking sessions that you can you can do one on ones with uh, with teachers, and uh, and learn how to use that vocabulary and put it into practice. So. Um, so yeah, these um, and on top of this, we are the only institute that gives you your money back. Here it shows you basically how long you have to complete this to complete the program, and if you complete it before before this, you can get all the money back that you have paid in exchange of um, sharing your study your 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 story with the with the public. So. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you this with. Um, just wanted to show you this with. Uh, I just wanted to share this with you, and and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, let me know what you think in the comments. I think it's uh, I think it's I think it's amazing, man. Lama Barak. I think under the institute, it's literally a system that. If you follow, you can only but learn the Arabic language. Like, <laughs> like literally. So anyways, um, salam alaikum.